Hey, it's Amy from PrettyPurpleDoor.com and today I'm going to be showing you how I created this mural on an old fence. So after I prepped the fence and got it ready to go and painted it with an acrylic primer, what I did was kind of divide it vertically into four sections and I also numbered the right hand side uh, 1 through 14 so I had the correct board numbers. And here you can see a template that I found online. It was just a line drawing of Starry Night. And in Photoshop, I created a grid so that it was to scale. And on the side of the little drawing, I also numbered these 1 to 14. And that actually helped me a lot to sketch out the original uh, drawing. Um, the colors that I used here, I have Benjamin Moore colors and also just regular acrylic paint colors. If you're going to do an outside mural, I'd recommend using the Benjamin Moore or some other alternative and getting an exterior paint. Um, that'll hold up a lot better. What's great about Starry Night is that you can do this and you only need six colors and um, the red you don't need much of so you can basically just get like a sample of that. So here I am <clears throat> and I'm basically just taking the drawing the, the line sketch up above and I'm transferring that using my grid 1 to 14 um, right onto the wood and I'm just using like a black paint and I'm not being too specific about this um, I actually had it numbered right on the boards uh, 1 through 14 and that helped me a lot at first I was messing up uh, a little bit about like which boards the the hills should go on to but <clears throat> after I after I numbered the boards it, it made it a whole lot easier for me to to continue so now I'm up in the sky I'm just doing the sketching uh, marking off like the important parts and once I get this sketch in I'm gonna start blocking in some color so I'm starting with green and this part doesn't matter so much um, as far as what colors you use but what I like to do is sort of create like a like a an underpainting they call it so really I'm just putting in the colors usually a darker tone so that I can color and brighten on top of that darker tone so here I'm just sort of putting in some of the greens because there's not much and now I'm starting to fill in more of the blue which is basically the entire painting so I'm filling in all the lines and and just blocking it in blocking in the color so I have a background to work off of and here you can see what it looks like at this stage it's just color blocked in and it's starting to look a little bit better now I'm starting with the yellow and I'm just adding all of my pretty stars and I know that they don't really look like this but the yellow is something that I wanted as an underpainting uh, to make it easier to develop later. You can also see at this stage that I filled in the rest of the town with the blue underpainting and I realized that I needed some white so I added white around the stars and then continued along adding some of the, d the deeper hues here. This is actually my favorite part of the painting. It was a really a lot of fun. I was using cobalt blue and just using little line strokes, uh, mixing. I had my fancy palette of a paper plate and I was mixing some of the white as well. I would put down uh, lines of blue and then lines of white. And as I continued them through, they would mix together and they made a really pretty effect that I think worked out well. So I still had a few little details to fill in, but you can see that the sky is pretty much done at this point. Unfortunately, at this point, the weather stopped cooperating and I had to move my giant fence inside. So I'm really sorry, but because of that, I wasn't able to record. So I just kind of took pictures along the way. Here you can see I kind of finished off the hills that are right below the skyline. And after that, I worked on the town and I just filled that. That's not as interesting to me as the sky was. The sky was really fun. So I guess it's not so bad that I'm not recording it. So now you can see we're back outside. The painting is done. Uh, the next step that I did was I took my orbital sander and I just sanded around the edges. I wanted it to look a little bit rustic because the fence is so old and rustic. Now I do recommend that you use outdoor paint to paint this, but I just used what I had on hand. So I was trying to find a way to seal this properly and I came across 
this man wax product it's an indoor outdoor spar urethane and i gave it about eight coats of this so i coated it really well and i'm hoping that it holds up but i'm not worried if it does fade i i expect it to if you don't want yours to fade and this is a big project for you i'd recommend using the outdoor paint from the get-go as far as hanging this giant fence up on the wall i used um hangman heavy duty mirror and picture hanger uh it's like a cleat system where you're able to just kind of pick up the entire fence and hook it onto the other piece that you secure to the wall. And that worked out really well and it's aluminum so it's not gonna rust. So there you have it, that's my Starry Night mural on an old fence. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe. I'll leave details and links to any products I used in the description below, so feel free to check that out. And thank you so much for watching.